Hello, good morning to you. The head of the Scottish Prison Service says she doesn't know how it will cope with rising prison numbers. The number of and you can see more on that on uh, Disclosure Prisons on the Brink tonight at 8pm on BBC One Scotland or on the iPlayer. Campaigners say imposing a levy on shops that sell alcohol could raise millions of pounds uh, a year to treat drink-related health problems. Edinburgh's lap dancing bars will find out later if they have a future. Counts Aberdeenshire musician Callum McElroy has been named as winner of the coveted title of BBC Radio Scotland Young Traditional Musician 2024. OK, here's Judith now with the weather. Thanks, Judith. That's all we have for you. More at 5 to 7. Join me then. Hello, good morning to you. The head of the Scottish Prison Service says she doesn't know how it will cope with rising prisoner numbers. The number of people in jails is predicted to reach. And you can watch Disclosure Prisons on the Brink tonight at 8 o'clock on BBC One Scotland or on the iPlayer. Campaigners say imposing a levy on shops that sell alcohol could raise millions of pounds a year to treat drink-related health problems. Al Edinburgh's lap dancing bars will find out later if they have a future. Councillors are... Aberdeenshire musician Callum McElroy has been named as winner of the coveted title of BBC Radio Scotland Young Traditional Musician 2024. Let's get the weather forecast now with Judith. Thank you very much. Lovely, Judith. Thanks for that. That's all for the moment. I'll be back with another update at 7.25. If you're heading out before then, though, enjoy your day. Bye-bye. Hello, good morning to you. The head of the Scottish Prison Service says she doesn't know how it will cope with rising prisoner numbers. The num and you can watch Disclosure Prisons on the Brink tonight at 8 o'clock on BBC One Scotland or on the iPlayer. Now, a 20-year-old music producer whose career began in his Glasgow bedroom less than five years ago has won a Grammy at this year's awards in Los Angeles. Blair Ferguson, who wrote the music for a and that is all we have for you for the moment. I'll be back with another update at 8.25. Join me then. Bye-bye.